Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to start getting ready to machine our Cadet class cars. On the screen in front of you, you can see I've got my Cadet class car sitting here. Um, sitting in around that is this transparent box, which is the same size as the bolster block our car gets machined from. And at the front of that, we have this machining spigot. And the machining spigot enables the bolster block to be clamped in the jig within our router so that the car can get machined and held safely. And this is the part today that I want to go through and get you guys to create. To do that, we're going to jump into OneShape. I'm going to create a brand new document. I'm going to call it Machining Spigot and click OK. Uh, OneShape is going to open up a brand new workspace for us. And the first thing we want to do is to jump in. We're going to create a sketch and I'm going to select my right hand plane. I'm going to click on the view cube, click on the right face to bring that around so we're looking straight at it. And then we're going to start by drawing a rectangle the same size as the end of the balsa block. So I click on corner rectangle, click on two points. We're going to dimension it so it's 65 millimeters wide, hit enter, 50 millimeters high, hit enter, and we're done. Now, just to make things look nice, I'm going to select the midpoint constraint, select the bottom line of our uh, rectangle we've just drawn, and then click on the center of our sketch axis, and that'll bring it up to the middle. The next thing we need to do is add in our tether line slot rectangle or square. So just anywhere inside our existing rectangle, we're going to create a six millimeter by six millimeter square, and again, using my midpoint constraint, select the bottom line of that square, select the center of our axes, and that'll bring it down into the right location. And then we can finish that sketch. Bring it around so we've got an isometric view. We're going to extrude that sketch out, uh, and we're going to go 10 millimeters. So change your depth to 10, and hit the OK button. And there's the, there's the basis of the spigot. The next thing we need to do is to create uh, something coming out of that that's going to attach to the front of our car. So I'm going to sketch on the side plane of the extrusion we've just created. Again, spin it around so we're looking at it face on. And we're going to draw a circle on there. So center point circle in line with the middle of our block. I'm going to come up around about there. And I want this to be 10 millimeters diameter. So I'll draw the circle, click on 10, enter and then the last thing we have to do is dimension it so hitting the d key for dimension select the bottom of our um our sketch up to the center of the circle and we want that to be 15 millimeters from the bottom hit ok bring it back to isometric and then we're going to extrude that out so i just want to select only the circle and we're going to make that 40 millimeters long and that's just going to ensure it's going to be well and truly enough to intersect with the car when we assemble it. So now we have our machining spigot. We've got our end profile, the same as the balsa block. We've got a small uh, circular extrusion coming out, 40 millimetres, which will be more than enough to engage with our car. Uh, and now we're ready to take our machining spigot, our car, and the balsa block we created right back at the beginning and make an assembly to get ready for machining, which will be the next video. Cheers. See you next time.